In this quick tutorial, I will demonstrate how to connect a device that only outputs through HDMI to a monitor that has only VGA and DVI as options for input. I'm making this tutorial primarily to demonstrate that if you have a monitor with a DVI port on it, you do not need to necessarily purchase an entirely new display in order to connect items such as a PS3 for example. This is especially true if the device has a separate audio out port and does not need to send audio signals over HDMI. Both DVI and HDMI are digital signals and thus there really is no benefit at 1080p in terms of video quality between HDMI or DVI. More importantly, despite having different ports, the video signals that pass through an HDMI or DVI port are identical. Therefore, cheap converters can be utilized to change one port into another. As you can tell from the video, I will be using an Android mini PC stick. Typically, this device only accepts HDMI input and uses HDMI to send audio to the display. In my case, I will be using the DVI port on the back of my monitor to connect the mini TV stick and will use a Bluetooth adapter to carry audio from the device. These accessories cost about $4 each. On the screen currently is a DVI adapter. On the one end is a male DVI connector, which plugs into my monitor directly. On the other end is a female HDMI connector, which plugs into my Android mini TV stick. Once the Android mini TV stick is plugged into the DVI adapter, I can connect it to my monitor directly without the need for additional cables, such as a DVI cable. For those of you who want to connect their Android mini TV stick using a DVI cable rather than to the monitor directly, you can use a series of two adapters. The first adapter is a female DVI to a male HDMI adapter. The end of the DVI cable that comes from your monitor will have a male termination, so a female DVI connector is needed to plug into it. The second adapter is a female HDMI to a female HDMI adapter. This is needed in order to connect the Android Mini TV stick to the male terminal of the DVI to HDMI adapter. For the audio, I'll be using a $4 Bluetooth adapter from eBay. This adapter carries audio signal from the Mini PC stick via Bluetooth and then outputs a signal using a 3.5mm headphone jack. In my case, the 3.5mm headphone jack is plugged into computer speakers. Here is the device plugged in. There is an LED indicator present to show that the device is functioning and receiving input. At this point in time, I simply need to go to the Bluetooth settings in my Android stick and connect to the Bluetooth adapter. In turn, audio will be relayed through Bluetooth to my computer speakers. This circumvents the need to have a monitor capable of handling audio carried over the HDMI port. And here's a demonstration of the Android Mini TV stick running when everything that we discussed before is put together. Mister, what's the bandage for? What? What kind of wound? Do you answer me, damn you? Wound? You tell me, or I will kill you. Okay. 
So here is what my mini PC stick looks like connected using DVI to my monitor. And here's the Bluetooth module that's connected to the computer speakers. That's all I had to show today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, please feel free to leave feedback and consider liking the content. Thank you for all the support and have a happy new year.